Saka of Indonesia. He's up against the number two seed, So Wan Ho of Korea. One La. So Wan Ho of Korea. Number two seed. So obviously this match from the bottom half of the draw. And there is the Korean already on court, now joined by the Indonesian. Two La. Nice to see the Indonesian back to some good form. Gone through a bit of a, a lean patch recently. In fact, his world ranking has gone down one place this week, down to number 32. Has been as high as number 17 in the world. There he is. The 26-year-old from Yogyakarta in central Java. Soman Ho, 26, and currently number four in the world ranking. Tenth week in total as world number four for the Korean. This the Korean's fourth consecutive appearance. His three previous appearances reached the quarter-final of all three. So this is his first ever semi-final here in Mulheim at the Yonex German Open. Dionysius Hayom Rumbaka. As I say, down in the world ranking, but don't be uh, deceived by that. He's a world-class player. In fact, he's reached at least one final each year for the past six years, and that's quite a record for the 26-year-old. It always makes me smile when he talks about his dream as a young boy. It was nothing to do with badminton. It was about joining the Air Force. But my goodness, aren't we lucky that he did choose a badminton because he's a very exciting player to watch. He had a disappointing start this year, losing in the first round of the Malaysian Grand Prix gold event, did Rumbaka, despite the fact that he was the number nine seed. Now, yesterday, in the quarter-final. Uh, this man, So Wan Ho, defeated Tijono of Indonesia. Having beaten the defending champion, Arvin Bart, in the round prior to that. So the men's singles is a draw of 64, so each of these players has played four previous matches. And for someone who is yet to drop a game. So someone who of Korea getting this men's single semi final underway. Yesterday, in the quarterfinal, beat the number four seed and beaten finalists from last year, Hans Christian Wietinghus. 22 20, 21 15. In fact, he was 5 11 down in the first game and 16 19 down, but eventually won it, as I say, 22 20. Well taken from someone Ho. This is actually the fifth meeting between these two players, and the Korean has won all four previous meetings. 
last time it was in the second round of the All England Championships last year, so very nearly a year ago. But it was three games on that occasion. In fact, the last three times they played against each other, it's gone the full distance, gone to three games. Well, did the Rumbaka. As soon as he saw Six. that his opponent was turning four. to play the backhand, back to the net, can't see what he's doing, and therefore the Rumbaka stepped forward. It's a clever play. He's missed it. Mm, nice idea. One could tell from his body movement that he was going to make an error there. Despite jumping in the air, he all seemed all off balance. Body weight falling towards the side of the court. Eight, seven. Seven. Missed it by some long, considerable way. Well, it's good to see someone Ho back on court last time I saw him was when he had to retire against Targo in the Super Series finals in Dubai. He looks to be back to full fitness. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I thought that was going out. Oh, that's lovely. What a difference when he reaches out that racket arm, takes the shot early, and he's got so many options, and that occasion just guided the shuttle across court. Look at that. Lovely. Oh, well, a little look from someone Ho towards the umpire, looking as if to appeal for an overall. France. Impressed. Service 
10, 9. Next over. 10, 8. Well, Sun Wan Ho, in my opinion, is one of those players that's such a good worker on court. His movement is quick, it's efficient movement. But so often in his matches, I think that he relies on just steadily working his opponent. And when his opponent's speed and movement drops by just a fraction, that's when he has the ability to pounce. And it's not unusual to see Sun Ho not dominating from the early stages. He's just working his opponent. So it is Rumbaka with the advantage at the mid-game interval. Two-point advantage, to be precise. Well, Sun Wan Ho, one of the few Korean players that looks to be in good physical condition. As I was saying earlier, they all look to me as if they've really enjoyed a break, and that would be a very sound and logical thing to do because the Olympic qualifying period will start in May and then there'll be real intensity all the way up to the Rio Olympic Games without any breaks at all. So if players have managed to have a couple of months off at the start of 2015 and perhaps haven't been training quite as hard as they would normally do, it's probably not such a bad thing. Eleven, oh. I often yeah. think with Rumbaka when he's trying to lunge, he doesn't seem to have a deep lunge. Just his upper body, his torso tends to fall forward you know, rather than the power of the legs keeping him in a balanced position. He always seems to struggle. Service over. 12, 11. Yeah, and again there. Oh, oh. Over. Oh. 11, 12. Good Riley. Oh, delightful. Yeah. And that's the typical sort of rally that I was alluding to a moment ago when I was talking about Sun Wan Ho working his opponent. This is the final slice shot, but it was the one prior to that that really did the damage. It was a hold punch clear making the clear deceptive, keeping it fairly flat, getting your opponent off balance. encroaching in on the net now is someone Ho. Uh, Rumbaka is going to have to work, physically work harder. Keep him away from that. 
in that area. about the hard work it means more attacking play from the back of the court he's doing precisely that three straight points assure you he can't hear what I'm saying but he's doing exactly as I suggested he would need to do to counteract someone Ho's desire to really control the front of the court. Well done Rebecca. Stretch, trying to take the shuttle as early and as high as possible on the net shot. Yeah, look at that movement. My goodness me. Strong, powerful movement. Get behind the shuttle. 17, 14. Oh, well taken. Game point opportunities for the unseeded Rumbaka. Oh, it's well played from someone Ho. Well saved. Brilliant. Super movement, accurate, powerful cross court smash. On the end of that wonderful movement, and closes out the opening game. Dionysius Hayum Arumbaka, 21 17. Just watch his movement here. This one. Look at that. Oh, that's a joy to watch. So, Rumbaka, one game to the good. 21-17 in 16 minutes of play.
Won the Vietnam Grand Prix last year. Did this Indonesian. That was his only final from the 11 tournaments contested. And his opponent, Sun Ho, was playing an awful lot more. Two finals from 18 individual tournaments. And won the Hong Kong Super Series, beating the world champion Chen Long in the final. And reached the final of the Denmark Super Series as well, So Man Ho. Dion Isius Hayum Rumbaka from Indonesia. Well, can he keep his good form going? Oh, ooh, that's just wrong. Number two seed, someone Ho of Korea. Oh, my goodness me. Well, we have the benefit of looking at that again. Well, that looked in to me. Pulled out. That's definitely in. Oh, yes. When this Indonesian is moving well, when he's getting to the shuttle early, moving back in court, keeping his balance, he really is a joy to watch. And it does make me wonder. You know, I remember watching him about six or seven years ago when he was just an up-and-coming youngster. Well, he's still young at the age of 26, but a real youngster coming onto the world scene. And I had huge high hopes for him. I thought he'd got everything there. Athletic young man, he'd got height, got the skills. Hasn't really developed in the way that so many Indonesians had hoped though. He had one or two outstanding results but hasn't transferred that into major titles or contesting for major titles and I know that sounds unfair because he's been in 12 Three. career finals winning six of them but the best he's done is the Grand Prix golds silver medalist of course as well at the testing for major titles and I know that sounds unfair because he's been in 12 Three. career finals winning six of them but the best he's done is the Grand Prix as well at the Southeast Asian Games two years ago in Perspiration. Yeah, I wonder if we'll see someone home being a little more aggressive in his style of play now in the second game. And he's broken the strings of his racket with that winner. And of course, he was playing first singles for Korea at the Asian Games last year and led and led Korea off to the gold medal in the men's team competition when he beat Chen Long in the first singles. <laughs> National hero for doing so. <laughs>
the earnings for past. It's won a couple of super serious titles now. Has some one hope. India in 2012 and Hong Kong last year. Hong Kong last year. He's a regular, really challenging for titles. One love. It's gone long. Five, three. Oh, clever. Two, yeah. Someone Ho forced to turn and play the high Six, backhand. Three. And in the opening game, Rombaka had stepped forward and encroached in on the net and played a winner. This time, Someone Ho, remembering that, three, played the high backhand love. clear. Ah, that's good thinking. Yeah, look at that. It is physically demanding, though, to keep that sort of movement. Jumping backwards by the time the player has landed, transferring the body weight to come forward in court again. Yeah, well worked. Das tatsächlich ist dann das entscheidende Argument. Dankeschön. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, whilst he didn't really rush forward to the net, he was still very alert to the backhand coming back to that front court area. Yeah. That's nicely done. Straight points to go in the lead. Make that five straight points. From three, six down. Corner there, playing a accurate downward shot straight down the line. Service over. Six. Two. This is where I just sense that someone Ho is really dangerous. Lurumbaka has to dig deep, he has to stay with him if he wants to win in two straight Seven. games because someone Ho Good. is so good at just making opponents work. Yeah, clever smash towards that right hip. Ideal placement. Yeah, 
there, tried to turn and give himself the freedom to play the shot. You see the body smash so often in doubles, and it's a shot in singles, especially the men's singles players are using more and more. Well, someone who can't believe the call. I thought it was in as far as the sideline is concerned. As I say, I'm looking straight down that line, but as far as the back line is concerned, I can't see from my position. Yeah, that's brilliant. That round the head shot really has served him well so far in this match. Rumbaka. Two Korean coaches now. Ten. Three. Park Tae Sang has joined Group the one, other coach. One. I have to say, the other coach is normally looks after the doubles players. Play. Service over. Four, ten. Sign that the Koreans are a little anxious. Five. That's only ten. Nine, eleven. Well, that's the sort of error I wouldn't normally expect to see from someone hope. Perhaps not completely over his injury woes and perhaps not 100% match fit. Good rally, testing rally. Oh, what a backhand! My goodness me, where on earth did that come from? What a shot from Rumbaka. to keep that composure, can play the accurate shot. Thirteen, seven, it's over. 
play dictating the pace, looking for singles. Not all about power, but he's still got a, a good advantage. Oh, goodness me. 38 minutes after the dis in the first round as the... in Germany once again. The 21-year-old Spaniard ever to win a beat. A KO two match points, in fact, Carolina Marin. Event last year. That she's a very animated player, is Marin.